What's up, everybody? It's John, aka McNerdy27, representing People's Republic MTG, and we have a quick draft of the Lost Caverns of Ixalan for you today. Uh, stick around to the end to hear about how you can support the channel and the charities that we stand for here. Anyway, let's jump in. One time we're going to open a really good rare. Okay, that's a pretty good one. Starving Revenant's pretty good. Also a deep cavern bat. That's kind of tough. Deep cavern bat versus starving revenant. This seems very strong. I mean, it is. It is. Yeah, I think I want to start on that over Deep Cavern Bat. There's good white here in Guidewing and Petrify. There's also a Tithing Blade and an Echo of Dusk that could wheel. Yeah, let's try Revenant. Let's try it. Okay, Abuelo's Awakening gets passed to us. We're not interested in that. There's a Guardian of the Great Door which I like a lot. I think we should probably just take that. Three other decent uncommons in Bartolome, Visage of Dread, Charter Course. I think Guardian is the best card here. That's what I would say. Let's take Guardian of the Great Door. Okay, Vanguard of the Rose. I... Don't really like that much. Even by Piranhas is a fine card. Um, Yeah, we just largely got some middling stuff here. I guess I'm just going to take Vanguard of the Rose. Kind of goes, you know, in the, in the theoretical white-black deck. Uh, should it exist. There's a Bat Colony and a Gargantuan Leech. I don't really want to try to make the whole caves thing work. Kutzel. Then we could just take an attentive sunscribe. There's definitely an argument that like Goblin Tomb Raider is just the best card in this pack. Um and I should take it. But given what we have so far, I do kind of want to take Sunscribe. Now we got a deconstruction hammer. Um there's also an Atali's favor is a really good card. Wailing Pirates is good too. Um, I'll take the Deconstruction Hammer. Okay, so... Sunshot Militia is what, is what really has my eye here over this, like, Echo of Dusk or a Cosmium Blast. I think Sunshot Militia is probably the pick there. And it look like we're going to be more of a red-white deck. Perfectly fine Dauntless D Dismantler here. Nothing really else. Like Brackish Blunder is probably the next best card. Mineshaft Spider's not bad. River Elf Scout's not that bad. There's an Oaken Siren. That is the best card in the pack. Um, but there's also like Deep Goblin Skull Taker, Ancestor's Aid. I don't think we miss either of these so i'll take the siren see if we uh end up in blue okay so tithing blade made it back so did echo of dusk uh i'll take tithing blade there maybe we are gonna end up being in black it's pirate hat but like i'm kind of tempted to try the the black white deck here get an echo of dusk there Nothing playable. Whip. Don't think we run a second deconstruction hammer, but I'll put it in the main board for now. Fabrication Foundry. Got an Hermetic Nautilus. Um, pretty good card. Uh, that pushes us back towards blue-white. Um... 
There's another Sunshot Militia. There's Glorifier of Suffering if we want to make try to make the uh, black-white deck work. Ooh, there is just an Abraid. Okay, let's take the Abraid and see if black or red presents itself as more open. Just get a second Guardian of the Great Door. I think we probably should take that. Yeah. Hit the mother load. Glorifier of Suffering, Dino Tomato, Fanatical Offering. Not excited about any of it. Just take the Glorifier. Iron Paw Aspirant, Nautilus, Marionette, Snail, Pirate. I think I probably just want Iron Paw Aspirant. I'm starting to think that maybe we are supposed to be white blue with this coming through. I tell you what, let's take Hermetic Nautilus. I like the uh, the vigilance on that. I think could be pretty important. And now we get punished. Seeing a dead weight in an Atali's favor. Okay, we'll toe the line. Take dead weight. I think that this is how you end up in a crappy deck. Ugh, by towing the line too much. Honestly, I'm leaning towards Vito's Inquisitor. But these Guardians, they go better when we've got, like, other stuff to tap. Let's take the Iceberg. Okay, this is good. Guidewing is good. We'd play Waylaying Pirates, too. Yeah. I mean, Acolyte of Acolzots is pretty good, but now I think I just want to take the Pirate Hat. Move in on white blue. Very unexcited by that one. Rough. Go of it. Oh my gosh. Oh man, do we steer back into black or do we just cut our losses, take water when scout? We have four blue cards. Five black cards. Screw it. I think Preacher of the Schism is that good. Another Miner's Guide Wing here. Two good... Um, well, one good gold card. Yeah, just take Miner's Guide Wing there. Grasping Shadows is a fun idea, but not very good. I think another chance is going to be fine... Yeah, we're at 14 and 4. We are very low on removal. Eh, Vanguard of the Dusk Rose is an awful. Visage of Dread. Archaeologists. Skullcap Snail. Like, all of this is fine. But I think our way to win here is these Guardians of the Great Door. 
Let's take this skullcap snail. Another tithing blade. Sovereign of Okanekahau. I'll take tithing blade. I don't think we're going to run two freebooters. Echo Dusk is fine. Miner's Guide Wing number three. Versus a Vito's Inquisitor or an Acolyte of Aklazots. We might not want number three of those. We might instead just take this Acolyte. Yeah. We're not going to run Deconstruction Hammer number three. Okay, I'm not getting anything else here. Uncommon. Alright. Um, not terrible, not great. Not a lot of, like, real direct removal. But we do have two very powerful rares in the Preacher of the Schism and Starving Revenant. And we once again have an extremely low curve. I think we can, uh, like, throw in a greedy freebooter and cut a planes. I guess these are technically, like, higher up in the curve, but I'm, I'm okay with that. We didn't get, like, a backpack or anything to really go wide, but this isn't too bad. It's kind of a mixture of some themes in black and white, but I think that's pretty good. I think we got to give the digital deck box art to this Guardian of the Great Door here. All right. Okay, let's try this. It looks like it can have some pretty aggressive starts. Between the guide wings and uh, a couple of deconstruction hammers. And then if, if we get to cast those guardians at the great door early, it's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. I think we'll just go Freebooter into Snail and a Acolyte. Much Chateau. Much Chateau. Grows reliquary. Could have over the edge. Could have Cosmium Blast. No such thing. Consulting, consulting at all. Sure.
Not bad. Uh-oh, it's a backpack. They can hit us with it. The backpack was menacing me. Just like Colossodactyl here would be pretty rough. Seed stones is yeah, we're not concerned. They're chump bloggers for days. I, I think they're just dead here, because we're just gonna attack for six in the air and then sacrifice the greedy freebooter. No blocks. All right. Didn't look like the most aggressive draw in the world, but it ended up being pretty aggressive. Pretty aggressive. This was actually like a pretty legit card from what I remember. Wow, I just like started to space out as I hit like the second ability there about like when you, if you've removed two tap, if you've removed, you make goblins, if you've removed oil, what? <laughs> what? I mean, oil was very, very good in Phyrexia. Like that was the mechanic you wanted to play with. I mean, turn three, Preacher of the Schism. I'm not made of stone, man. This guy, though, he'll probably turn you to stone. Young money marionette. Beautiful. Ouch! Oh! Ow! Ow, 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 <laughs> Oh, my preacher of this gizm. Oh, I was feeling so safe, so warm, so happy. Oh, pain. Life is pain. All sun to moon. I'm out of offering. Okay. Yes. What happened to our card advantage? Four colors. Three colors. Some number of colors. Okay. This I am less worried about on this board um, than I would normally be just because we have Tithing Blade. Um. I think we just attack with both. Yeah, I'm not gonna uh, be tapping anything right now. And play attentive sunscribe. It's 
So hopefully it's just one big thing. Yeah, we get to tithing blade this thing. Please pop that map off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good, sir. You see, I too have a tithing blade. He's just scared, man. He's scared for his life, dude. Because Tal Sund Moon. Tal Sund Moon. Alright, we got him. LCI limited, man. It's a, it's a format. Alright, we've rattled off a couple here. Let's see if we can stay lucky. We did benefit from them mulliganing. Us having the tithing blade for that first creature. That was very lucky. And right, we got the same one, two, three, I think. That's not great. that that's the right play there. Um, but I do like getting that thing off the board. Careening. One DP. Two mana here. Pretty real. All right. I think we. Dead weight here. They can crew this in response. They've chosen not to. One mana. Another mana. They have a total of six, Glorifier of Suffering. Pop that, counters on each.
This is tricky. treasure just gonna keep throwing the mine card at me turn after turn so I think I'm just gonna trade there Not equipped blowgun, kept a card on top. Okay. Wing into Freebooter. This thing is still a problem. I really need to hit a second wipe for it. Just gonna attack with everything. Yeah. What is this? Playing nothing, huh? You didn't play nothing? Got an abrade for this? A tricky trick? Yeah. Ancestor's aid. Acrobatically.
Oof. All right. Like, I kind of want to kill that with a deconstruction hammer, but that would cost so much mana. I think we just need to wait on that. We go white, white, tap, you, 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 and you. Equip you here. You here. Attack with you. you here Kutzel's flanker being too scry to Block that. Um, if I spend one to move it over here. No, I think I just attack with Guardian of the Great Door. Play Guide Wing. Move this here. Move this here. And play Acolyte. Okay. Buff the power of the bat. Um, but it would still be a trade with Guide Wing. even if they move the blowgun over. Yeah, we'll turn this into a 7-7. Seven, seven.
buff that. Take eight. They go to nine. Uh huh. I think we got them. It'll be close. Oh, this has vigilance now. That's rough. Okay. I think if we hit him with Tithing Blade and then attack with both of these, tap something down with this. Yeah. They have to chump this. Yeah, and they can buff this um, again with the Might of the Ancestors next turn. Uh-huh. 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 it on them. Alright. Cool. We got a good one going. Guardian the Great Door, man. Just That's my door, man. Get away from my door. Alright, anyway. Gonna set this one down. Uh, off to go. Uh... Hang out with a friend. Maybe we'll play a little magic. Maybe we won't. We'll have a good time. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good time. Uh, and yeah, we'll pick this one back up. Uh, if not tomorrow, then uh, maybe the day after. Anyway, yeah. We'll see you then. Hey guys, we're back. Let's uh, refresh ourselves on this black-white deck. Uh, I know we got Double Guardian of the Great Door. Preacher of the Schism. Uh, Starving Revenant. Oh yeah, this was a weird draft to read. Ooh yeah, double guide wing, double decon hammer. Got a dead weight, two tithing blade. Pretty low on real removal though. Okay. Really, it's just the canonized in blood in the sideboard. Yeah. The runaway boulder, I guess, if we really were reaching. But, yeah, we look to be just pretty aggressive. Try to get the game done. We got other stuff to do, right? See how swingy these games play out. Um, that's definitely kind of felt like uh, one of LCI's weak points is that games are swingy and that you know there's a good amount of variance. Um, it's what you hit on explore, what you hit on discover, that sort of thing. That said, still enjoying the format. Um, it just oh wow, somebody in mythic. That's not good. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we'll try to keep this. We get to go two into three. We are not casting these Guardian into Great Door very soon, though. Okay. All right. We got a cheap removal spell there. 
against white blue. We got a shipwreck sentry. Play our attentive sun scribe. Got an oaken siren. I think we'll just uh, go ahead and attack with Sunscribe. We'll put the planes on the bottom there. We'll play Preacher. Second main. And they did miss a land drop. Attack with Oak and Siren. They may be missing that uh, third land here too, but they do have three mana total. It's a Tinker's Tote. Gotcha. Okay. think that we have great attacks this turn. Um, we can deadweight the Siren and just cast Thousand Moon Infantry. I think that's what we're going to do here. Almost certainly double block the preacher. Are we okay with that? I think. Missed a third lane drop again. So, that's, uh, pretty rough. Attack with the Sun Scribe here. Um, I'm gonna bottom that. We've got one. Acrobatic leap. We got it. Petrify. Still missing that third land drop. I, I mean, that's really, really rough. the second guardian. Sorry for the noise outside. Doing some kind of tree removal. Tree limb removal. These old pines I got out my back window. Jeez, I hope that's not coming across too much on the audio there. Okay. Yep. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna recast the Guardian. Iceberg. Build a chart, of course. Just line number four.
Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cast another chance. These two. Recast Preacher. So we do need to dodge, like, uh... Unstable Glyph Bridge, for sure. We just got pretty lucky there that, you know, they missed land drops so many turns in a row. Okay. Wow. Rewards. I will say about cutting off these limbs of these old pines, it's really it's a good idea. Pine trees here in Georgia, especially when it gets cold, and um, I think we're going to have to mulligan this. When it gets cold, and uh, pines just uh, are very, very brittle trees, and so when they get weighed down by ice, they just snap, and we're actually going to have some pretty cold days coming up this week. Okay, anyway, mulligan. Ouch. Mulligan. Okay. Yeah, we're just not going to be able to do a lot in this game. Uh, I think we're just going to push. Honestly, I think we need to push another chance. And I guess the hammer. This is uh, pretty bad. But I guess after getting as lucky as we did last game, we're just going to have to be patient through this one. Okay. Blade Master. All right. Dino Tomato. Mm -hmm. Alright, there's a land. Play this Thousand Moon Infantry. Got one artifact for him. For now. Sahili's Lattice, there's two. This old attack is a 4 4. We'll move to double block Dino, Tomato, Dino Tomato here. Pray they don't have a combat trick. They do. Likelihood just gonna try to trade off the starving revenant here. Okay. Gonna take a pretty big miracle here for us. So. Pull market gnome back and scry three instead. That makes sense. We're not going to be able to throw this at Dino Tomato yet. Uh, yeah, all we can really do this coming turn is play Thousand Moons Crack Shot and uh, Decon Hammer equip it, which really doesn't do anything for us. Three to the top, that's got to be just really enjoyable. All right, I mean, <laughs> all we're going to do is jump the archaeologist this turn. Got 
our removal spell for that, then we're just done. Okay. I, I mean, we get to cast Guardian next turn, but it, it doesn't really matter. There's not anything in the deck that actually gets us out of this. They can still discover with that. Can we play both? We can. Yeah. Okay. Not great. It's really, really bad couple of first hands that we had to push. It's too bad. All right. That one might have looked a little different if we hit a land. Um, specifically that planes a turn sooner. Um, still weren't in a good spot though. Because um, like we weren't double spelling. And we certainly weren't adding two creatures to the board in a turn. So that meant that the uh, Dynamite Tomato just got in basically for free. All right. This is a pretty uh, sketchy hand um, with just the two lands, but I think we can make it work. Okay, not bad to draw a swamp there. I think we'll probably play snail this turn. That is too bad, but what can you do? Um, I mean, we can cast both this and Decon Hammer here. That puts two permanents on the board for Angel. Still can't cast it next turn. What we'll uses our mana best? Actually, I think, yeah, this uses our mana best. Because then next turn we can cast one of these two two drops and equip. Three colors. Young Money Marionette. See if they want to trade. Nope. Extra. Let's see if they're going to keep that on top. No, they have indeed. Okey doke. So I can one, two, snail. Got their dead weight, okay. White, white, tap, you, 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 you. A lot riding on this guardian. Cycle the bristle back. Okay. Land three draw. Oh, the marionette.
We'll once again take the five off this if they're gonna attack. Big fella. We okay taking eight? Probably not. But we don't even kill it. So the plan is going to be to start chumping and sacking stuff with Acolyte of Aklazots to speed up this clock. Good to get that off the top. Good to get that off the top. Well then. Got it. Cenote scout. As long as I don't have removal for this, we're good. like we got him. Not bad. Guardian going the distance. They definitely flooded. Um, we certainly would have flooded uh, pretty hard. Well, I say that. I mean, we got two lands off the top with those scries, but we dealt enough damage that we weren't going to draw that many cards. Okay, anyway. Um, next one. Ah, the digital deck box art. Arena knows what's up. Arena knows how important that is. Looks good. This is an aggressive as hell start, man. You know, Marshall and Louise talk about a groan test in the format of like, what do you what do you just like hate to see your opponent play? And almost all the times you know, it's a rare or it's overrun. I almost feel like Miner's Guide Wing is the groan test in this format. Like, why does it need Vigilance? Or why does it need the Explore thing? Uh, it's just kind of silly. 
some fire torch. Uh, Chattel, I think we're going to play in favor of Chattel, yes. Let us get much Chattel. Hopefully get to deadweight their first creature. Okay, no play. They could have a braid here, but that means that they don't get to go get another land with their promising vein, which I don't think they want to do that. They do have the option to equip the torch and throw it at the guide wing and sacrifice this. Put a counter here. Sure. And equip the torch. Now that tithing blade looks really good. <laughs> Two, three. Oh, we gotta tap off. Oh, good. Four. Yeah, that looks fine. Could have Petrifier or Bounce Spell for this. Master's God Mural I'm not super concerned about. I'm going to attack with this and throw it here. Two lands off cast off crafting that. How many artifact is that? Yeah, I'll go here. I'm gonna assume. Yeah, they might not have seen the counter going on it coming. Yeah, I think this is about the game. Let me push that. Out. Okay. Got to dodge, dodge Unstable Glyph Bridge. Okay. I mean, even with Unstable Glyph Bridge, they have to let us keep the greedy freebooter, and he's enough. 
He is Knopf. <laughs> the Spanish version. Suficiente. <laughs> All right. Man, okay. We got a shot here. Oh, Jesus. Looking mighty fine. Got to get your uh, your hand all nice and sorted like that, right? This is cool. I didn't know that that was an island art. Very cool. We'll pass on the Oak and Siren. No thanks. Yeah. Over Tithing Blade or the Freebooter. I mean... If they don't have another creature here, we'll almost certainly Tithing Blade this thing away. Um, but we'll see. Siren. Pretty good. Put the counter on the sentry. Interesting. Okay, got a swamp. Hmm. I think I am okay to attack with the guide wing there. Okay, get in a point of damage. <sighs> play Acolyte. Tithing Blade now looks pretty bad, because um, I can just sack Asper into it. Jeez. Warrior. Okay. Yeah. Uh, probably should have put the Dismantler on it rather than the uh, Acolyte. Acolyte's going to be more worthwhile for us. That's, uh, that's on me. 
Looks like they're just going to kill the Vanguard anyway. Still not willing to trade. It's alright. I can understand it. Let's see if we see what this warrior is right away. I'm sure there's plenty in white. Yeah, that's pretty scary. Thank you. Creature? Okay. This time I got no blocks. I'll tackle both of these. Because if they block here to here and here to here, Tithing Blade hits this and then they get to discover. Um, which isn't great. But if they don't kill this preacher... Triple block. Wrestler. Ooh, yeah, wow. Oof, oof, oof. Ouch. Not great. Guardian will stay. Maybe they've got another aspirant. That's why they picked for him. Who knows? Put those counters here. You can always just use this map and get their discover off the Zoetic Glyph. This is a token artifact creature. Map, 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 n golem? Wow, okay. Uh, this is rough. 
Yeah, War Scribe is pretty big stuff this turn. Oh, wow. Yeah, did it twice. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna survive this one. know that this really matters all that much. We gotta deal an awful lot of damage back. We're just dead, right? Yeah. All right, yeah, the double war scribe trigger. <laughs> that was rough. Suddenly everything gets plus four, plus two. Not something you can prepare for too well. All right, we got one more shot here. I'm pretty pleased with how the deck turned out either way. I, uh, I think we navigated the games fairly well. Um, that last one, mm, we certainly had a good draw, uh, in the initial opener, um, and I don't think we were wrong to keep it. Okay, this hand's pretty slow, but I think we're gonna keep it. Forgotten Monument. Okay, we're looking at a cave stack here, I suppose. Sure. Compass Monument. Forest. Okay. Three lands. Yeah. This card is really, really good. Deep Cavern Bad. Get our Vanguard of the Dusk Rose. Something for a green? Malamet Battle Glyph. Wow. Okay. We are getting housed. It just gets a counter permanently. Well, that's, uh... That's good. For other people. Please tell me you don't have another Malamet Battle Glyph. Pathfinding Axe That is so much bigger than all of my stuff. Uh, yeah, I think you gotta bend that. We will happily trade off our free booter for that gnome. Desperate need of a dead weight for this. No. Not a dead weight. Hmm. 
Okay. Um, yep. We're gonna try to double block here. Hope we don't get staggering sized. PDF. Get away. Now we have a lifelinker of our own, at least. Something. Oh gosh, they can get back the gargantuan leech. This is gonna be rough. We can't really do anything about that, can we? Should have attacked with the miner's guide wing. I'm stupid too. Getting back this leech. Okay, we will double block this thing. Yeah, we'll keep that on top. They want to try to get back their gargantuan leech, we just get to tithing blade it now. Certainly hope that's what they're doing. <laughs> Batty. No, axe jaw. Okay. We'll just tithing blade that. Digging. Yep. Well, we'll need something for that. Maybe our other tithing blade? <laughs> Not bad. Creatures to craft this with. Let's say no blocks to this. Try to trade here. Okay. Yeah, we are not going to win this one. <laughs> uh, thousand moons, crack shot. Yeah, now, like, all we can do is double block the leech. Man, if we, <laughs> if it hadn't been for two gargantuan leeches, two you know, two turns in a row, maybe we would have had a chance here. Oh, 
All right, they go back to 20. And they play a scampering surveyor. Sure. I don't think there's really anything we can do here. Um, especially because they've just got that discover on the uh, hidden nursery. this thing. Whoops! Cancel that order, please. Let's just go ahead and pop the decon hammer. Could potentially keep us alive one more turn. Seems unlikely, though. Sure. That's the one. Yeah, and they can just flip that right away. Start recasting gargantuan leeches, anyone? close with that one. Those leeches, though. Yeah. They're about as, about as uh, pretty, pretty to look at as they are fun to play against. But, hey, I mean, you know, you do the work, get a cave stuck, play them like that. Five fives with lifelinker. No joke, man. No joke whatsoever. All right. We will claim that. One shy of the seven ball, but still a good deck. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I am John, a.k.a. McNerdy27, representing People's Republic MTG, the best playgroup in the Atlanta area. Uh, find me on Twitter, at McNerdy27, uh, if you happen to be local, and I can get you hooked up with the group. McNerdy27 is also the YouTube handle. Uh, the YouTube channel handle is where you're watching this. Do check out the links to uh, some charities that the channel stands with. In the YouTube video descriptions, you can consider giving part of your monthly magic budget or anything you would donate to me to one of those channels. Um, anyway, uh, thanks again for joining us, and I will catch you guys next time.